So you've got to say what it's meant to you today, mate. All right. Uh, today's meant actually a fair bit to me, to be honest. Um, come to the club this year, um, only knowing a few blokes, such as like Craig Dan and Bish. And uh, I felt even like the B, C's and D blokes have all got around me. Um, all, I, all I feel is when I come to training is a positive approach to cricket. And that's all you can ask for in a club. Um, the supporters, everyone else, it's brilliant. Today you can tell everyone just like getting around the side. Couldn't ask for anything more in a cricket club, to be honest. Sneeze, you're brilliant. <laughs> Mount Gambier was just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, mate. So you've had a great day today, and uh, good run out. Okay, <laughs> you'll live on that for ten years. <laughs> Timmy Bishop, good <laughs> Um, like Novi, uh, this means a lot to me. Um, a couple of years ago, I think when you boys played Kenzie's. Um, Played a lot of the one day stuff during the during the year, and then got the sack for the uh, for the GF. And <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty unhappy, so um, <laughs> to get the opportunity to play in a grand final with the is uh, yeah something I'll never forget. So that's no, awesome. Um, so all the boys are great. Sneeze, you're a champ. Give us some free beers tonight. So in Scholar, 38 beautiful road. Thank you for the club for putting on a good show tonight. It was a great win, good fun. Like Bishy on the sidelines last time, so it's good to be in a, in a winning side this year. So it does mean a lot to me. Um, it means a lot that I get to play with my, my buddy as well, Neil Rowe. Neil Rowe was my buddy when I was a junior, so it's good to play in an A grade flag with him for a while now. Thanks for this opportunity to. Thanks for this opportunity to say thank you to everyone. Um, for me, it's meant a lot to me to play today, but it's meant a lot just to join a new club and to be very, so welcome. Um, I started off in the C's, so I've got to know those blokes, played in the B's, and now I'm here in the A's. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to represent the club at the, the Pinnacle level, and the fact that a premiership opportunity came up, you know, I'm still pinching myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the bowlers really dug us out the, a real hole, as did Tom Plant today, and um, I'm really pleased to be a part of that. So, thank you very much. Uh, my first full season of A grade um, to win a flag at a young age was uh, really, really awesome. So, I guess um, I'm hoping it'll be the first of many. Uh, yeah, as Trent said, um, to win a flag so young, I'm pretty uh, appreciative. Uh, I was a 12th man a couple of years ago, and I probably didn't quite appreciate how special it was to be part of an Agro Premiership. But um, even though I'm still young now, I think I know the better, better group of how special it is. So I'm stoked to share with a bunch of such great blokes, and thankful for everyone to come down and get around us. So, thank you. Thank you. No, um, <laughs> you are not the smartest man to tell you Since I've been back at the club for four or five years, I've had a few years off and played in uh, three or four losing semi finals in a row. And so I had a lot of drive to do one better. And when we beat Southerns in the semi, I thought maybe it's now, it's my time. And so I'm really proud today that I've been playing my first grand final win for the club. Uh, I think over Tim Bishop and I have won a flag at the club apart from uh, oh. the great side, they were older than I was. Um, a lot of hard work, they progressed through the ranks quicker than I did. And so to play the flag in the today <coughs> is an uh, absolute highlight of my career. It's something I'll never forget. Um, you know, we need more of a stigma. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> this probably goes down as probably the best out of the three I've played. Just the fact that it's, um, there's only one player two years ago when we won it. Tom, a whole new squad, a lot of young guys got to experience what I got to experience when I first turned 18 to 20 when I first won my one, so it sticks with you forever. Um, also, it's just great to see basically club legends like Neil Rowe go out the way he did, Tom Barnes, 
basically it's the next legend around this club. So uh, to win three is an honour. If you have a look, there's a lot of guys there that aren't here anymore, and just to see such young guys get to experience it is phenomenal. Oh, look, it's wildest dreams, I guess. You, you, you sit there and you train Tuesday night, Thursday night, for a degree heat, you're playing days where we look at yesterday and stir and things like that, but it just goes absolutely the other way, and you just got to enjoy these because they don't come around every year, they only give away a few every year, like obviously two day cups, one day cups, 2020 world. Um, but to play the 0405 one, as we were saying, that was just an amazing game of cricket, 128 defending it. I missed the last one. Uh, we looked at being born and a few other things, and I sort of, you don't think you're going to get another go. And yeah, after the Wee we played it, played it in Canada Bay that day. Um, <laughs> it was, geez, it was horrid. Um, thankfully, we were there, and we, we knew we had the opportunity to have another crack at it and to play Southern down at Bice. To stitch them up and just send them packing again, and it was just, I don't know, it was just one of those days. And then today, it was, didn't look great to start with, but we fought hard, boys, and that's, that's the thing, it just, it's never over in a final. Um, and then when they're knocking balls into gaps and bunk balls over the top, and I'm like, it's just, what's going to happen? But I was just so proud of you, blokes. It's something we actually now have together. Um, we'll always have it. And we'll Something when we bump into each other and we're all finished. And, oh, what was that that day? I guess we'll do that that over. How good was that? So enjoy it. Um, they don't come around all that often. Um, and I'm just so proud of this club and everybody that is at this club because that's what makes it special. And I, 13 or whatever it was, or I'm 13, so I rolled into fourth primary school. I could never imagine what this club's done for me. And everybody that's here and family and everybody else is just. <coughs> Um, what does it mean? Yeah, it means a lot to me. It's um, why you play cricket, obviously, to uh, win premierships. So, um, you know, it's an amazing feeling. Like Roy really said, you know, we share a bond for the rest of our lives now. So, um, it's really good. I'd like to acknowledge Roy. Um, yeah, he's been a great mate of mine since I've played here. Um, and also Bales, who's come in this year. And you've let us do the way, so we're going to you. And also thanks to all the supporters um, for getting around us. Thanks to my girlfriend as well for coming down. Thanks for thanks for everyone's support. Well done, Tom. Come and buy the you're up. <laughs> so much. Um, the way that the club has welcomed myself as captain um, has just been, it's been awesome since Preppy and I first, then, uh, first met. We met Jimmy Plant in a, in a coffee shop um, he was in May last year. I wouldn't have uh, believed this would happen, so it's just awesome. The way the guys have um, shown, shown me so much respect, not only welcome me in the club, but listen when I'm banging on a bit too much or um, yelling a bit too much or whatever, or get grumpy. But, um, just been so good. Club's been so supportive. All the partners and stuff. I didn't thank you back in the rooms, but you know you mean a lot. So I'm sure all the players, not just Tommy's girlfriend, but everyone. I've played cricket with Tommy since I was about 10 or 11, and he's one of my good mates. So it's been great to uh, win a premiership with him. And, and all the lads. There's so much future for the club here. Um, Trent Carter, Craig Dan. I mean the whole list. It's just so much future and you know, standing up here, but also coming through. Um, and this club's heading in a really good direction, so there's no reason why we can't do this more often. Um, win the big one, and then, and just, but yeah, tonight just love this, and it's, it's been great. So thank you very much. This man yeah, is a lovely fellow. He's a legend. He's a legend. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Fed the dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for another close game. We <laughs> <laughs> lose bad and win close. Yeah. Yeah. I just enjoy all the ball and the successes. And to be part of mine is really special. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And team manager Swimmy, you're the last guy.
playing the same game. That game, we chased down 282, and I'd rate this on a par with that, um, in terms of the fight that you guys had. Um, so I think, you know, that chasing 170, you know, certainly from my perspective, I mean, you guys showed so much heart, and you, you fill out the game, you come back into the game. And I think that's the character that Lamelle's founded on. And, um, you know, and I look at Tom Plant today, and I think you know, he's a guy who showed so much heart, and um, you know he, he carried his bat through the innings, mm -hmm. and I don't think I underestimate that. 22 years ago, Michael Bevan made 119, and I'll break this on a part of that, Tom. Yeah. Um, for me also, you know, I, I looked at Bales and, you know, he was a real general out there today. Um, his field placings were impeccable and he really commanded the space. Um, Neil, and, you know, he just led from the front. And I think, you know, this guy has, you know, been 20 years around the club, but, you know, he's got sh so much heart. And I sit there for you young guys that, you know, this is a guy you've got to learn off of. 